Hi friends, welcome back to Chantel Makes. Today we're making these faux candles out of beer cans. Now these are the beer cans that I'm using. They're not your typical shape. Uh, these ones are more narrow and thin and I thought they were the perfect shape for pillar candles. So let's get our supplies together. We're gonna be using any type of white spray paint that you like. I have some real tea light candles and I also am gonna be using some faux ones from the Dollar Tree. I also have some gold ribbon from the Dollar Tree and some leftover red ball glitter things that I also had from Dollar Tree from a previous project. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do after washing and drying our cans, of course, is to remove the tab. We're actually going to flip the can upside down and use the bottom for our top because it's the perfect size for any tea light. All right, once we've removed all the tabs, we're gonna get ready to start spray painting. I have some leftover spray paint. I think it's Krylon um, that I got from Hobby Lobby and just a gloss white. You can use any color that you like. And we're gonna take this outside and get started. These cans took me two coats of paint to really adhere and cover the metal. So at first I thought painting inside the box was a better idea. Clearly that wasn't because I couldn't get the sides like duh Chantel. So I had to flip the box over so that I could spray paint the rest of the can. And after we got our first coat done and dried, now we're going to add our candle drippings. And as you can see here, we are simply going to make our drippings with hot glue. There's no right or wrong way to do this. The messier, the better, because let's face it, candles get messy when they melt. So we're just going to make whatever little dripping sizes that you'd like. You can make them however long or short as you want. And I like to do this in between coats. I don't know why, but I just feel like the glue sticks a little bit better to the paint than it does just the metal can exposed like that. And of course, we're gonna clean up all the little hairs that come when you use hot glue uh, you don't want to leave those on there because you will see them clear as day after you spray paint so we want to do this to all three cans and get ready for our second coat of paint i really love this faux candle dripping effect you may have seen it done on pool noodles so here we are getting ready for our second coat and this is what it looks like when it's all done and dry it's starting to look really realistic isn't it for a beer can at least now the fun part comes the decorating we're gonna use our gold ribbon some faux greenery these red and gold balls but i think i'm just gonna use the red today and let's get started so at first my initial idea was to just do it across and here i am measuring and cutting the strips but as you're about to see in a few seconds that usually always happens with me i change my mind in the middle of it so after cutting these strips i was getting ready to paint it just as not paint it oh my goodness just getting ready to glue it in one straight strip around the center of the candle but then it fell and then i had an idea oh what about swirls almost like peppermint swirls i like that idea better that's usually how it goes right so i just simply removed it i'm not really worried about the glue patch on the back because the back of these are not going to be seen now if you do want the candle seen from all angles i do not recommend doing it this way because the back is not cute okay it's it's really not i'm just being transparent with you guys so if you want to do the swirly effect make sure you're putting the candle in a place where you can't see the ugly hideousness in the back otherwise just stick, stick with something simple and just do your regular strip going across the center so after I decided to do this little swirly peppermint thing going on here, I did the other two cans the exact same way. And then we're gonna add some greenery just for that added pop of color and some of our red glitter balls to kind of resemble a holly berry. Now, of course, if you guys feel inspired to use any other type of decorations, feel free to do so. Uh, this is just what I was inspired to use today. So 
feel free to use you know bows um, different type of greenery you can just use the ribbon and don't add anything else to it um, whatever get creative with it and that's the fun thing about crafting you know however it fits your decor your style make it work so here I am getting ready to add the red glitter balls that look like holly berries in my opinion um, but then I was starting to think like this is not enough greenery it's looking a little bare so after I glue the balls on and kind of step back and take a look at it assess it I end up adding a little bit more of the greenery And to be honest, I really am glad that I did because this is starting to look like a creepy, like, face. I don't know, big bugged eyes, tiny little nose, and some freaky eyelashes. So definitely want to add some more greenery. Since I'm using this as a set, I'm only going to add three balls to one of the candles and one to the other two. Because I don't want it to be too busy. I want them to coordinate but not be too matchy matchy all right now that we're wrapping up the finishing touches here we're basically done now we're just gonna get our candles and i'm gonna show you guys how this works so you just simply put your tea light candles on top here i'm gonna use some real ones if you're not comfortable using the real ones you can get some faux ones from the dollar tree and i'll show you how they both look here we go As always, I thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like this DIY project, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check back for more.